All right, let's dive right in. Today, we are laying down the absolute essential foundation for any serious machine learning project. So if you're a data scientist and you're thinking about making that jump into an AI or ML engineering role, this is for you. We're going to get your machine set up, turning it from a place for experiments into a powerhouse for building real-world applications. So here's what we're going to cover. We'll kick things off with that really crucial mindset shift from scientist to engineer. Then we'll pick our command center, our IDE. After that, we'll get into the essential toolkit you need to install, talk a bit about hardware, and we'll wrap up by looking at why working in the cloud is really the professional standard these days. First up, let's talk about the biggest shifts you're going to make. And honestly, it's not just about learning a few new Python libraries. It's about adopting a whole new way of thinking. And that new mindset needs to be backed up by a new professional grade set of tools. I'm sure you've been here before, right? You've done all the hard work, your model is performing beautifully inside a Jupyter or a Colab notebook, the accuracy is looking great, and then you're stuck. How do you get that brilliant model out of the notebook and into a real live application that people can actually use? Well, that's the classic gap between data science and MLOps. You know, bridging that gap really means leveling up your entire toolkit. That exploratory environment in a notebook, it's perfect for discovery, for figuring things out. But when you start building systems that have to be reliable, that have to scale, you need tools built for that. Tools for versioning, for deployment, for integration. It's kind of the difference between a rough sketch in the notepad and a full-blown architectural blueprint. So let's start building that pro toolkit. And we'll begin with probably the most important piece of your daily workflow. This is gonna be your new home base, your command center. So choosing the right integrated development environment or IDE is absolutely key. Look, Jupyter and Colab are fantastic for what they do. They're amazing for that initial spark, for prototyping and running quick experiments. But for a real production system, you just need more firepower. That's why we recommend VS Code. It brings all the tools of the trade into one place. You get direct access to the terminal, you get full Git version control built right in, and you can easily navigate your entire project's file system. It's not just a sketchpad anymore, it's a proper engineering workstation. Okay, command center chosen. Now, let's get the core software installed. I want you to think of these tools as the absolute non-negotiable pillars for all the MLOps work we're gonna be doing. And here they are, the big four. You've got Python, of course, the language of data science. You've got Git, which is the undisputed king of version control and collaboration. We've just talked about VS Code, your command center. And then there's UV. Now, UV might be a new one for you, and that's actually really exciting because it's designed to solve a very common headache. It's a modern, and I mean incredibly fast, tool that can replace things like PIP and VENV for managing your packages and virtual environments. It just smooths out a really clunky process and makes your whole workflow that much faster and more efficient. Trust me, you'll love it. All right, software toolkit, check. Now let's talk for a minute about the machine you're actually running all this stuff on because your hardware needs, they aren't static. They're gonna scale right alongside the complexity and ambition of your projects. And this scaling process is pretty intuitive when you think about it. If you're working with say tabular data in scikit-learn, your standard laptop or desktop is probably gonna be just fine. But the second you jump into something like computer vision with PyTorch, a dedicated GPU gives you a massive speed up. And for the real heavy hitters, like training large language models, well, that's when you start needing multiple GPUs. And often that means using a cloud cluster. The key thing to remember is start local and only scale up when your project really demands it. And that whole idea of scaling up brings us perfectly to our last topic. Because while having a powerful local machine is great, the professional world of ML engineering, well, it pretty much lives in the cloud now. Let's talk about why that is. Using a platform like GitHub Codespaces or Google Cloud Workstations solves three huge engineering problems. First, standardization. This is a game changer because it finally kills that old, well, it works on my machine, problem for good. Everybody on the team has the exact same setup. Second, scalability. You get on-demand access to incredibly powerful resources like GPUs without having to buy them. And third, collaboration becomes way, way easier. It's all about being efficient, powerful, and getting things done as a team. So there we have it. 
We've covered the mindset, the IDE, the software stack, the hardware needs, and the professional cloud environment. Your system is now totally primed for building robust production-grade machine learning solutions. So the only question left, and it's the most exciting one, is with all this power at your fingertips, what incredible problem will you choose to solve first?